Hey guys, Funny Guy Timmy here. Wanted to do a video testing four kinds of microphones in a untreated space. Like this, where I am is like halfway between my living room and my kitchen area. So, and it has the most barren walls. So it's got a lot of echo. I hate this room audibly, but that's actually what we're testing. What microphone would work in the best Incredibly echoey, noisy environment. Normally I record in there, where I've put stuff on the ceilings and on the walls and stuff, and but this has none of that. It's a bare ceiling, and there's a gigantic wall behind me, so we're going to find out which of these works best with echo. All right, now the first microphone that I'm going to be testing is the Audio-Technica 2020, which is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Uh, this is great for voiceover, great for singing, terrible if there's noise or if it's a echoey room because it's so sensitive um that's why these ones need pop filters they need treated spaces it's, you don't use them on stage you don't use them for interviewing on the street these are meant for in studio use only basically and so this is what you're listening to as far as the noise as far as the echo i'm going to give you a little bit of silence there is a refrigerator running right over there You can probably hear that. Uh, so now we're going to move on to the next microphone. All right, and now we have a small shotgun mic. This is the Audio Technica 87.5R, my favorite, obviously. Talk about it a lot. Um, this one is shotgun mic uh, type of microphone, which is very similar to a small diaphragm, except in the fact that it has this longer tube. Uh, between the capsule and the tip of the microphone uh, with some um, noise rejecting um, patterns on the side, which is intended to, you know, negate a lot of noise off the left, off the side. So now I'm going to give you some silence. Again, refrigerator is still going. All right, and there you go. Uh, a shotgun mic is intended normally for outside to reject noise on this side of the microphone. Um, you can use it indoors. I like using a small shotgun mic indoors uh, for doing talking head for videos like this. I feel like it works better. It gives me a better sound and less hollow. But again, how much noise and how much echo does it reject? Now moving on to the next microphone. All right, and now I have the MXL 991, which is a small diaphragm condenser microphone, meaning just like the Audio-Technica, it requires phantom power, uh, and it is a diaphragm. However, this one is a smaller diaphragm and is a little bit more di directional. Uh, it rejects uh, a little bit more noise off the back and off the side, not as much as a shotgun mic, but it does reject a little bit more noise. Um, you normally have to get closer on these mics. Uh, they, they're they more attenuated in the higher frequencies, so they put less focus on the lower frequencies, which is where a lot of echo and a lot of room noise normally exists or lives in. So again, hopefully this will help with a lot of the room noise, a lot of the echo. But again, silence, refrigerator. All right, and there you go. I'm trying really hard not to blow air right into this microphone because, again, it's incredibly sensitive. Moving on to the next mic. All right, and finally, I have a dynamic microphone in front of me, which is the SM57. Um, this one is, like I said, dynamic, so it's not as sensitive. Um, it's the way the capsule is designed that... It, it's not going to pick up as large an area. Basically, with a dynamic microphone, you got to get right up on it like I am right now. Um, normally, within six inches of the capsule is pretty much the only area that you can really get clarity of voice, which my guess is that this one's going to be the best when it comes to noise as far as like the echo in the area because it is such a small area of pickup. It basically picks up nothing on this end, very little on this end, just directly in front of it. So again, silence, testing. And there you go. Um, I will basically only be normalizing any of this audio 
for the video. I'm not going to be doing any compressing or in EQing, just normalizing. And uh, there you go. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to rate it, comment, and subscribe. The refrigerator just finally turned off. Just finally turned off just now at the end of this video. That's perfect timing. That is perfect timing. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave any comments down below if you'd like to see me do any other videos. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.